Good evening, folks. Welcome to another episode of Star Trek Online. Today, we get to go play Task for Hypocrites. Gorn Arai. Go to the Xanterine system. Sounds more like... This is one of the only ones that doesn't actually have a probe in it. So, I don't have to look for a probe in this mission. So, welcome to my humble ready room again. And I guess after this mission, I'll be level 20, so I'll get to get a new ship and all that good stuff now. Alright, let's get this party started. Um, set a course for the Xanterine system. Maximum warp. No, oh, I don't want to invite anybody. I'm probably already there, but... I'll get off anyway. I'll say it anyways. Oh yeah, I'm already here. <laughs> Alright, let's go find the planet. Where are you? Hey. No, that's it. That's a different system. Alright. Zarantine 1. Another dual star system. Federation ships in range. This is the USS Boyce. We're taking fire from Gorn fighters. We need aid from ships in range. Repeat, we are being attacked by Gorn and need help. Oh, this might be a good point. Thanks for the assistance. We've diverted we diverted from our deliveries to deploy these emergency solar collectors, but now we need your help to activate them. Okay. Our starboard power coupling is blown and we're reading damage to our navigation systems and warp core. If you can reroute the collector's energy output to us, we can use them to keep our shields up while we make repairs. We should have no trouble getting close enough to switch the collectors on. Or two transient mode. As I'm dealing with what's going on in the same process. So what are they trying to collect solar? Shot at again.
Voice is hailing us, Captain. Incoming message. Our levels are holding steady, Lieutenant Commander. We can handle it from here. Thanks for helping. Thanks for the helping hand. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish our medical deliveries without too much of a delay. Good luck, boys. Let's row out. To Pow, huh? Come and message Starfleet, sir. A Vulcan medical vessel, the Pow, is requesting assistance. We are the closest ship. I've laid a course to the Tapau's coordinates. We can leave at your on your command. Come to Pow, sir. The channel of incoming message. I'm Saller, captain of the Vulcan medical ship Tapau. There's an outbreak of Tacanian syndrome on the planet's surface. It is, it is of utmost importance that the medical supplies we carry be delivered immediately. Please accompany us to the planet and defend us from the enemy ships. Escort mission, huh? Hey, I'm doing what my ship's supposed to be. It's an escort. All right, which way are you going? Make sure you're going the right direction. ship that I get is. I think it's an Akira class.
detecting weapons fire on the planet's surface. My ship is on a mission of peace. We are under-equipped to deal with armed resistance. We have secured the areas our healers can transport to planet surface safely. Did they change this? I think they did. It's been so long. Some of these missions have been changed. I don't remember. Oh, I think I remember this one. I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking something else. Okay, it's indoors. Read multiple Gorn and Klingon life signs. Between here and the medical facility, we'll need to defeat them before Vulcan Medical can transport. The Vulcan security personnel are equipped to deal with them. I'm also reading various life signs about the complex. Looks like some of the patients were caught in the crossfire. Alright, come on guys, let's let's go rescue the people. stuck in the wall. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not how you're gonna... That's not a good hiding place. Oh, now you wanna talk. Alright, let's get you on your feet. You stay here and protect the area. Oh, hey, computer. Let's keep moving, guys. Hello. Here's a present for you. Um, we are requesting virals. I don't know. I'm just a patient. I don't know. Ah, Lieutenant Commander, you're early. You have to help us. He's asking about the medical supplies and tests, the resequencing, vi the resequencing virus, the cell growth chambers, everything. I don't know about these things. I'm just a patient here. 
The sequencing and cloning, it's like they're stealing materials used for genetic augmentation. The Klingons never had any luck with the augmentation. Their attempts to to use the augmentation virus in the 22nd and 3rd centuries was disa were disasters. Yeah, they lost all the ridges. They lost the ridges because of it, because they had Archer to try to help cure them. Why would they bother be bothering again? The Klingons have never been ones to reopen an unsuccessful line of inquiry. Because it's not for the Klingons, it's for the Gorn. Uh, some, I think it has something to do with their hatchery worlds. Because they lost a, they lost quite a few of them in the the Borg War of 21, 2381. That most people probably don't know about because it's in the books. Oh, hell. Explosives. Alright, where are we going? Clear. Oh, hey. Hello. Yes, I'm coming in here to grab this first. Although this facility has sustained some damage, I expect that my crew will be able to restore this wing to functioning functionality in 52.3 minutes. Your decisive action has potentially saved the lives of many patients today. Thank you. While the hospital may not be saved, I'm still concerned about what the Gorn might have stolen. I cannot speak for the larger issue of, of the Gorn and Klingon attacks. Logic suggests that if the Gorn left any clues behind, my crew will find them while they are making repair. While they're making repairs, do not hesitate to speak with them for further information. Your assistance has been appreciated, but the situation is now stable. You may depart at your leisure. Thank you, Captain. I love them Klingons or Vulcans. <laughs> All right, beaming up. Let's see. Hailing start. Good work. I'm looking forward to reviewing your report. On first glance, it's clear that the Klingons are doing something with genetic modification. Since they don't have their own equipment, they're stealing ours. This is a bad road, and I suspect there's worse news to come. Yep. Congratulations, Commander. Mm -hmm. Hailed again. Congratulations! You've proven yourself and are due the accolades of a true Klingon warrior. Um, Return to First City <laughs> on Kronos. I'm not a Klingon. That was that was weird. That wasn't supposed to be him. All right. Well. I guess I'm we have reports of oh. a true way fleet entering the neutral zone and picking oh, yeah, a fight with the like Klingons a... near the Donatu system. Having two of our enemies fight is good for the Federation. Four, four, five but I part want to know why the true way section? is so far out of their territory. Intercept them and deal with them. If you need to engage the Klingons as well, do so. 
The Starfleet Task Force has already been sent to the area. You'll need to join them in the Donatu system as soon as possible. I'm not exactly sure why I'm being contacted by Section 31. I guess we'll find out. Until next, next time. time. <laughs> exactly what he said. But let's give myself some skills. Uh, let's see. Advanced shield restoration. That might come in handy. Sector speed. Yeah, definitely that would come in handy until I can get transwarp. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, I got a ground point. Traits, got another trait slot. Hmm, what do I want to give myself now? Space. Alright, time to go get promoted. Yes, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. It's a big day. I'm a captain now. Or a commander. Not a captain. I got one, ten more levels to go before I become a captain. go to a certain area and you can actually go stand on the podium and they would actually congratulate you and promote you right there kind of thing. But I'm going to do the promotion part, get my new ship, but all that other stuff, setting everything up, well, I'm not going to have I'm not going to let you have you guys watch me for that. This momentous occasion I'm from the 25th century, or 23rd century, and I got a new ship again. I don't think I'd ever get... I don't think it's like that in the 23rd century. <laughs> or was. Every rank you get a new ship. <laughs> I just don't remember what it's going to be. I think it's going to be an escort or a cure class, if I remember correctly. But, let's go talk to Admiral Quinn. Admiral, congratulations, you have been promoted. Yay. Alright, now I gotta go to the shipyard. Talk to you when I come back. I wonder if I can get the special one with the special weapon. Ship selection. I don't want that one. Ship and starship requisitions. Congratulations on making commander. The Admiral has given me the blessing to choose you the appropriate new starship. Take a look at the store. The starships that are approved, your rank are listed. Alright, what you got for me? What can I get? 
I don't want science. I don't want cruisers. I don't really need small craft. I'll do others. Um, commander. Let's see. What do we get to? Yeah, see. I figured it'd be a, an Akira class. Ooh, ten bucks. That's it? That's all I get to choose from? Heavy escort. I like the... I like the Oslo. It looks, it looks kind of like the... Temporal version... Temporal ship. One of those... Or one of those... I don't know what... I don't think they're temporal ships. One of those Iconian ones. Ships that you get during the Iconian or... Delta expansion. Okay, we got a three tech, one science, one engineering, three forward, two aft. Power to weapons, can load cannons. Of course it can load cannons, it's an escort. See, I think this one is a carrier. Well, it's a refit. I don't know what it had. Yeah, point defense system console. I th that's where I got that once before. Man, it's been so long. Cause I remember having it on one of my one of my ships. There's only two options. All right. Well, I guess we'll go with the uh, Oslo. Yes, I'm sure. It's an alright name, I'm not going to change the name on it. Done. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. I got my new starship, I gotta go set it all up, and then we get to go play Skirmish next time. So hope you guys enjoyed. See you later. Until next time. Peace.